Well, as you know, every Monday we have our segment, The Next Frontier. Rearing goats for goat meat has been a predominant source of livelihood for many livestock farmers in Kenya, especially those in rural areas. But there are a few farmers who have discovered the secret behind rearing goats purely for their milk. On this week's edition of The Next Frontier, Philip Kitani speaks with a goat dairy farmer in Ongatarongai who has defined odds and he's running a profitable goat dairy business on a small piece of land. Take a look. Dairy farming is one of the oldest farming activities in Kenya as the majority of the population consumes substantial amount of milk with cows preferred as the main source of milk. However, this trend seems to be shifting as land sizes reduce and the cost of a dairy cow has become too expensive for small-scale farmers. Meet Charles, a new kind of dairy farmer who plies his trade in the middle of a growing urban center with almost no space for the traditional dairy farming of keeping large number of dairy cows. Instead, Charles has claimed his spot in the dairy industry as a goat dairy farmer. Dairy goat farming is um, an upcoming economic activity in this country and of late a lot of people have realized um, the importance of goat milk. Most small-scale farmers rear goats either for sentimental reasons or to provide meat for their families. They rarely consider the practice as a commercial venture. What we did at the first time, um, we had like 15 goats in the village and then we decided let's put some two of them just to be cushioning ourselves against the, the emergency. Some warm water here. The goat dairy market has been improving over time. Today, a litre of goat milk sells for as much as 200 shillings. For Charles, this has been a major windfall. Record keeping is very, very important in uh, dairy keeping. Yeah? So like here, what I have, I have a file here that has got all the records of the goats here. Dairy goat farming is an important enterprise, especially for farmers with small parcels of land. Goat's milk has much more benefits compared to cow's milk. Nowadays, a lot of people, we have the professional woman who doesn't want to breastfeed. We have other people who have issues, they cannot breastfeed. This is the best milk. It's actually the closest to, to human's milk. Other than milk, Charles has also made good business from selling kids to budding good farmers. He sells his stock at between 10 and 30,000 shillings, ensuring he is able to earn money from the venture. Goat milk is very sensitive, so once you milk it, the very first thing, if you don't have refrigeration, you may have to boil it. There are many good breeds that are suitable for farming according to the weather and climate of Kenya. Boa, German, Alpine, Togenberg, Tannen, Anglo-Nubian and some other breeds are suitable for commercial and profitable goat farming in the country. In our farm, we specialize with Alpine dairy goats. Alpine are from Europe. Um, for us, this is our goat of our choice. This is going to get to a client in the next few minutes. Rated one of the best producers of the most nutritious milk among domestic animals, goats are kept in an enclosed place to prevent disease, ensure easy milking and collection of dung which is used in the farm. Who say dairy farming is only meant for those with large tracts of land and hundreds of animals? Charles here has proven that dairy farming is even possible in the middle of an urban area and is just not a dairy farmer, he's a good dairy farmer. Philip Keitan for the next frontier.